Hi, welcome to Naresh IT. This is Kishore. And now I will show you how to write the data into a data file. Okay. In previous session, we have discussed what, why we need the data files. Now I will show you how to write the data into a data file. Now I am going for one small example. Say this: hash include iostream dot h. Next, uh, hash include conio dot h. Common thing. Later, I am going to give one class. Suppose class student. Now, student members are ID and name. Here, student ID is there, and here, student name is there. Now, it is the private data. Now, to access the private data, I am going to write the public member function. Public void get student. It is the member function. Okay. Now, I want to conduct the definition also inside. Actually, in C++, we can define the member functions in two ways. One is inside the class, one is outside the class. Now, I am going to follow the inside the class mechanism. Now, void get student. Okay. Here, see out enter student id comma name now see in id and name next class close okay it is the student class and we are having two data members one is id one is name and we are going for get student member function and here we are reading student id and name okay fine now i am going to main function and first of all, when there is a class, we should have to go for a object. That is why stu, it is the object. Now, we have a, an object of s, yes, means a student class object s created. Now, the point, we have to send this data, means s data into the data file. That is why, first of all, we should have to open a data file. Okay? Now, we have to open a data file in hard disk. That means, first of all, we have to go for hard disk now and there we have to open a file. And uh, to open the file, first of all, we have to provide some name also for that file. That is why and here what happened? We are going to open a file for writing, for writing. Actually, in previous session, I have given. Generally, we are going to use iStream O stream, I stream for what? C in, okay? And O stream is for what? C out. Along with these streams, we are using I F stream, O F stream also. I said, okay, to conduct the secondary file operation means secondary storage to operate the secondary file operations. Okay, we should have to go for what? I F stream and O F stream. And here, IF stream, OF stream. IF stream does what? Okay. Actually, IF stream means what? Input file stream. By using this one, we can read the data from data file. By using IF stream, we can read the data from data file. And OF stream is used to send the data into the data file. That is why here IF stream means output, means data from file and OF stream means input, that is opposite work we have to. Now, what we want to conduct? We have to send this uh, object data into the file, that is why what I want to do? Input into the data file, input is called here output, that is why OF stream, that is why what we have to use? OF stream. Now, the important thing OF stream, IF stream are what? They are predefined classes. Now, these classes combination is what f stream class that is why here there is a ios class it is called ios base next from this we have if stream and another one is the of stream and combination is f stream okay now the point is it is the ios class it is if stream it is the of stream and combination f stream all these are the predefined classes available in f stream dot h which class okay here 
all these classes are available in which header file means f stream dot h that is why whenever we are moving for file operations we should have to include f stream dot h that is why here I am going to add f stream dot h also then hash include f stream dot h it is mandatory. Now, the f stream dot h header file also added when f stream dot h is there we can control the file operations that is why here f stream is there now o f stream actually o f stream is doing what it is a predefined class when there is a predefined class we should have to use object that is why suppose I am going to declare one object called file now what happened o f stream is the predefined class and file is the object of that class next here one more point we have to remember in C++ we can open in C++ we can open the files in two ways okay in two modes means in two ways one is one is by using parameterized constructor by using parameterized constructor and second way is what by using open member function okay we can open the data files in two ways one is what using parameterized constructor and second method is what using a open member function now i will show you both how to open a data file by using parameterized constructor now first uh, of stream is a what class name file is the object now you have to open the parentheses inside the parentheses you have to provide the file name for example stu dot dat easy to understand means student data file ok next bracket close and here one important thing you have to observe of stream of stream means what output file stream but here what happened it is used to write the data into the file and uh, first of all we should have to open the file na? now for file we should have to provide some name now it is the name of that file stu dot dat is the file name now what happens here it is the hard disk for example it is the hard disk now what happens here it is going to open a file called stu dot dat in which mode means in mode ok in means writing ok here which stream I am going to use here of stream that means actually of stream is doing what ok output file stream we are thinking what output means coming outside but here opposite of stream is for input that is why I have, I have given in means it is open for input purpose actually it is called out means what it is opening the file in which mode means output mode but here output mode means input process that is why here you can enter this one also comma ios colon colon in but it is not compulsory ios colon colon out but it is not compulsory and it is called file opening mode it is called what file opening mode and with or without uh, this one meaning is same ok with or without this the meaning is same now what happened suppose removing this one now one file is created inside the hard disk with the what name student dot dat now watch it it is the class it is the object it is the parameter now this one is called using parameterized constructor it is how to open a file by using parameterized constructor next second mechanism also there now i am going to make it comment okay now second mechanism of stream file okay it is the object next see this file dot open now it is the member function by using a member function i am going to open the file which file i want to open stu dot dat here also same ok method is means opening mode is optional suppose you are going to use ios colon colon out means same thing with or without that the meaning is same 
Now what happens here by using open member function we are going to open the file and here by using parameterized constructor that is why we can open the data files in two modes ok in two modes one is what one is by using parameterized constructor another one is what by using open member function next using open member function ok fine. Now the file is opened right now it is in the hard disk next stu s s is what object now it is the stack and it is the object now it is the id number it is the name now we have to read some data into this one that is why here I am going to declare one variable char for example op char op now it is a variable local variable now I am going to do like this do I am going to take a do loop and inside the do I am going to write like this s dot get student ok. Now watch it s dot get student means now the program calls this function in this function what happened enter student id name now we have to enter some id and name that is going to store in s for example I have entered one Ravi that is all. Now, 1 and Ravi where it is stored inside the stack where it is stored means inside the stack actually you know that stack is temporary now we have to make this data permanent we have to make this data permanent that is why I am going to use one more function called file dot write one more member function called write now file file is the what object name now object dot member function write this function is a predefined function which is used to write the data into the data file now watch it f file dot write of char star means what I want to convert the data into character format ok I want to convert this total data into character format now this data converted into character means what here Ravi already character but id number is a 1 id number 1 means 1 is a number now the 1 is converted into its related character means the compiler understands it is the ascii value and every ascii value is having a particular character now now it is converted into character and ampersand s yes. means right now where is our data in s address that is why write the data into file file means what student dot dat and in which format character format and where the data is in s address and size of s means how many bytes it have to write id id is which type integer that is why 2 bytes here id 2 bytes next name name is which one character of how many words 20 that is why total how much memory required 22 bytes memory required and this 22 bytes memory is going to write into this file in which format character format now the data shifted to here 1 Ravi hmm. now watch this actually our original data stored in stack now it is passed to hard disk hard disk what secondary storage device means what permanent that is why our data is safe ok it is how to pass the stack data into the hard disk ok fine now the data transferred into the hard disk and how many records are stored only one but the user want so many records ok then how to then here I am going to write some message also see out one row created it is the message I want to display on the screen for user comfort that means after writing the data it is showing this message one row created now the user is able to understand the record is stored next once again any more student yes or no that means I want to give the choice to the user any more students means user want to add any more records ok now see in op 
suppose user entered y that means he want to enter the second student data or third student fourth student like this then he is going to enter y suppose he does not want it he is going to enter no suppose if the user entered y means what we have to repeat the same program no? that is why while op equal to equal to y or op equal to equal to y means either capital y or small y the user is going to repeat this process means uh, the program is repeated once again s dot get student s dot get student means what once again enter student id name later it is going to write once again same procedure one row created anymore now user says yes means this loop is going to be repeated until the user says no until the user says no uh, when the user says no means what he want to stop the procedure now then immediately I am using file dot close function. Now, it is another member function belongs to which class of stream that is why close okay. means f stream means file stream class. Now, file dot close already here file is open now, now that file is going to be closed means your data secured and main function also closed. Okay. It is how to transfer the stack data into the hard disk. Now, your data is secured. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for watching.